Let's take a deeper dive into one of the topics in Unit 1, Chapter 1, Issues in Lifespan Development. What is continuous versus discontinuous development? First, there are a number of important issues that have been debated over the history of developmental psychology. What are these main issues? The major questions about lifespan development include the following. Is development influenced by nature or nurture? Are children actively or passively involved in their development? Do personality traits that are present at birth remain stable or do they change throughout the lifespan? Is development continuous or discontinuous? Today we're going to take a deeper dive into continuity versus discontinuity. Continuity versus discontinuity. One major issue in developmental psychology is that of continuity. Does change occur smoothly over time or through a series of predetermined steps? When considering skill development or personality characteristics over time, you can think of continuity as consistency of these skills or characteristics and discontinuity as change in these skills or characteristics. Let's look at an example of continuous development. Some aspects of the development of living organisms, such as a maple tree growing steadily in height and cross-sectional area, involve quantitative changes, just as some theories of human development argue that changes are simply a matter of quantity. As children grow in height, they also tend to display more of certain skills as they grow older. Developmental theorists that support discontinuity outline a series of sequential stages in which skills emerge at certain points of development. These relatively sudden qualitative changes are comparable to the life cycle of a ladybug. Following longer periods of slow, gradual change, the ladybug transitions through rapid, discontinuous changes, becoming a totally different type of entity. So, which one is correct? Is human development best characterized as a slow, gradual process, or is it best viewed as one of more abrupt change? Uh, well, it depends on which developmental theorist you ask, and what topic is being studied. The theories of Piaget, Freud, Kohlberg, and Erickson are called stage theories. Stage theory, or discontinuous development, assumes the developmental change often occurs in distinct stages that are qualitatively different from one another, and in a set universal sequence. At each stage of development, children and adults have fundamentally different qualities and characteristics. On the other hand, the behaviorists, Vygotsky and information processing theorists, assume development is the more slow and gradual process known as continuous development. For instance, they would see the adult as not possessing new skills, but more advanced skills that were already present in some form in the child. Have questions about this concept? Email me or join me during office hours on Tuesday and Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Central. Thank you for watching.